you just said something then that <clears throat> kind of made me really think and it's something about geography in youtube yeah and i guess in particular for you it's even more important because what one would invest in in the states as you mentioned or like asia australia europe wherever it might be and i guess i don't really know what the question is but it's more about how do you think about that because do you obviously you want to grow your audience now let's say for argument's sake you take the usa there's there's, there's a lot of people i think it's what 300 million odd people who live in the states as opposed to the uk for example where it's 65 70 whatever it is yeah but your content will be very much directed at one or the other potentially and i'm putting words in your mouth a bit but how do you do you think about that sort of stuff yeah and it's funny because if you really wanted to run this purely like as a business and try and maximize it you could go down the route of like checking out what the highest cpm is and stuff like that in which countries and just yeah. try and tailor for that like australia has a really high cpm compared to the rest of the world don't know why it just does uh in in this like kind of niche anyway so i don't you could just go i'm just going to target things that australians can use and you could just yeah. go down that way but i think for me it's like trying to trying to strike that balance because you you have to one put yourself in amongst whatever your competition is in that space as well because yeah. there are about a million people doing the same thing as you so what makes you different like and it is trying to find what makes you different as well we're trying to embrace that and you either go i'm just going to do my thing and not think anything of it yeah. but at the same time if you have an audience you have to try and cater that so for me i do try and work out it, it, it tends to be america and the rest of the world because because purely when it comes to these sorts of investments, most of the time, if it's the rest of the world, pretty much anyone can invest. It's, it, it doesn't it doesn't tend to lock out people, but America stands on its own. So I try and kind of alternate between things that are America based and things that are rest of the world based. And I do try and balance it because, you know, I have people from different sides and I'll always have yeah. people going, wait, I'm Canadian. I can't do this or I'm so and so this. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. Um, and I'm like, sorry, but I can't, you know, I can't always cater for all of you. Um, but I'll try and find things that have the, those two sides. And that's where I tend to look at it. I don't, I don't tend to look at, you know, CPM and stuff like this. It's yeah. purely about trying to have a balance between things that are available for both sides of those 